<laughs> What's up guys? So we're back here with the uh, homie Chris. By now you guys have probably seen the video where these two trucks line up and race. I'm not going to blow the ending of who won that. If you guys want to see, you can click the link right here. Check that video out. But now that the race is over, it's time we get my homie's truck lifted. Chris, get over here. So we have a, uh, what do we got, about a two and a half hour drive to go pick up the lift for him today. Yep. Should we tell them what lift kit it is or should we make them wait? Oh, yeah, they gotta wait. They gotta wait? All right, well, I guess you guys are gonna have to wait. We're gonna uh, drive up to meet my buddy Nick. If you guys are on Instagram, American Duramax. Check his truck out, his truck six. So we'll show you guys his truck when we get up there. He's got a Duramax as well, obviously, American Duramax. Anyway, um, so normally I like to keep miles off the Duramax and doing this two and a half hour drive, I would usually opt to take another vehicle. But being that the Duramax was sitting for three weeks broken, but now she is fixed. I've missed her. We need to uh, drive her and really enjoy her. We should be taking this truck and putting miles on that, but he's only got, what, 6,600 miles on it after owning it for a year and a half? Yep. So I guess we'll keep the miles off that truck. We'll throw them on the Duramax, that way, you know, at least we know... <coughs> <coughs> at least we know that... Thanks, bud. No, I forgot what I was saying. Let's roll the outro. Oh. <laughs> Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Well, nothing to it but to do it. Let's hit the road. See why you don't come down to our truck meets anymore? Fuck. Dude. I know, dude. It's quite the mission to get up here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, let's sit right here. I was gonna have it pulled out, but um, you lag it. it's got the stock exhaust on it right now. I gotta pass smog. Thirty sevens. So there you guys go. Everybody <laughs> asked me in every fucking video, how do you pass smog? He just went through it. How'd you do it? Yeah, I had to put the stock exhaust back on, and uh, actually, I got sent to a referee because I didn't pass the first time. How'd that go? It didn't go too well. She actually still hasn't passed yet. Oh. Um, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta drive a little more, get some cycles through it, but uh, it'll get there. So there's your risk. There's yeah. your risk, but it's worth it? Yeah. Oh no, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. I drove this up to Big Bear, dude, and I couldn't do it. Yeah. It was just, it, it didn't want to make it up there. It's so laggy on these 37s. Holy shit. Well, show, so show everybody, because I'm, I think you're running the lowest lift with 37s I've seen on the newer trucks. Yeah, with it's the actually. square wheel wells. Yeah, it's got a one inch lift in the rear, and then about, sitting about four and a half inches up in the front on a CST three to six. Oh. So Nick told us to uh, jump in the truck. He's gonna take us over to like a little outlook spot and we'll get some shots of the truck for Instagram and all that. So when we get up there, we'll go over what his truck has done to it. It's one of the cleanest blue, newer Duramaxes I've ever seen. So I think you guys will dig that. It's gonna go into a region. So Nick took us out to this pretty badass spot, as you can see. Check out the, uh, the view over here. Pretty sweet little uh, look out over his town here. So, me and Nick, what we meet, through Instagram? Yeah. So we met through Instagram, which is like a lot of these weird truck relationships, that's how it happens. Same way I met Dirty Max Jack. Um, it's kind of like the truck community is super tight on Instagram, and everybody helps each other out. He's the one that, uh, you guys see my grill lights? He's got the same grill light set up on his truck, so we kind of all bounce ideas off of each other. If one guy came up with something, we let the other ones know how things work. So, the Instagram truck community is huge. If you guys aren't on it yet, you should check out both of our Instagrams. I'll put them up right here. I'll put the link down in the bio as well. But let's get a rundown of his truck. It really is the cleanest. Uh, what color is the blue? Is this called? Uh, it's called Deep Ocean Blue Metallic. Deep Ocean Blue Metallic. It's the cleanest one I've ever seen. So, check this fucking thing out. And before we go any further, this motherfucker, if you guys check his Instagram, he has lifted this truck and put a different lift and tire combo probably about what, like six times? 
Uh, this is the fifth setup on the truck. This is the fifth setup, and I think there was eighth like eighth wheel and tire setup. Eighth wheel and tire, and you would go like literally like a week in between setups. Yep. The dude's nuts. But how long has this one been on it? Uh, it's actually broke the record. It's been on there uh, about six, seven months now. There you go. So this one might be staying for a little bit. But uh, let's give it a rundown of your truck. All right. 2015 and a half. So I got the new mirrors. I didn't have to put them on later on. Your dick. <laughs> Uh, added the grill lights in there, like Ryan said. Got LED headlights, fog lights. Uh, I also got a 40-inch rigid I put in behind the grill. I had to do some cutting, modifying to get that there. Um, again, it's a 37-inch tire, Toyo MT, on a 20-inch rim. Uh, you're looking at a plus 20 offset. Doesn't really stick out too aggressive. Um, <laughs> so I got under here. I got. A couple things going on, but it's mainly a CST 3 to 6. Got the Cognito supports. I got the Cognito sway bar. I also got Fox shocks in there. Uh, Cognito tie rods. Um, it's quite a bit of stuff going on under there. We got the SMB intake. It was deleted, or it kind of is still. Uh, trying to pass smog right now, so it sounds a little quiet. Uh, but it has been deleted for about almost a year, year and a half. Uh, that thing still sitting there. I gotta rip that thing off. Uh, before we go to the back, you see the inside. Well, got a ton of water bottles falling out. Still losing the back. My truck looks the same. Don't worry. <laughs> but uh, I painted some of the interior. We can get a better shot. But uh, some of the interior pieces actually match exactly the truck's color. Kind of gives a little bit of a touch. I custom ordered the truck, so I also got the sunroof in there. You need cold seats, you need the steering wheel. I also added the uh, that kicker subwoofer, kind of. It's a clean little setup back there. But a uh, 10 inch sub has its own amp built in. I didn't want to lose all of my space back there. And I'm not 16 anymore, so I don't need two 12s. So I got the hobo hook in the back, two and a half inches. Also back here, I got a rigid light where I cut out where my spare tire goes. So I got that, it looks nice and clean and flush. Painted my emblems in at the back right here we got some goods in the in the bed right now a whole pallet full of some good stuff so as you can see there's a lot of similarities between nick and my truck as like i said we were bouncing shit off of each other mm -hmm. um heat color match and then i learned to hate the chrome because i saw how beautiful his color match was so i color matched my truck the reason we came up here is because i think chris has been seeing all this shit so now he's ready to lift his truck <laughs> even though he's hiding out behind the camera right now but Nick, uh, Nick's getting the hook up on us for uh, Chris's lift kit, so that's why we made the drive all the way up here to come pick it up. Now get in the shot, Chris, get in the shot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we're quite ready to reveal. Are we ready to reveal what he got? Except you guys. Sure. Yeah. All right, well, let's reveal what Chris got. <laughs> Everything's kind of falling a little bit. There we go. So that's most of it. What tonic cover is that? That's the backflip back F1. Fox coilovers in that box. A lot of the other lift components are right here. Down here, kind of buried underneath this box is uh, some leaf springs. And then you got your Fox shocks in the back over there. Six inch BDS kit, coilovers, Fox shocks with uh, leaf springs. No blocks? No blocks. Well, no. shit. I think you guys got a little business to hash out right now. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I shouldn't have said nothing. We could have got it for free. Thank you, sir. No. Appreciate it. You can go ahead and count it if you want. No, I'm all right. It's all good. I believe you. I know where you guys live. <laughs> it's on video. If you scam me, I'll just it. Let's fucking get all this shit transferred over to my truck. And then I said we take a couple pictures for Instagram. It's been a while since these two trucks have been together. Definitely. I think actually this box can seal back up. So at least you can see what the Fox shops look like. <laughs> they even say BDS on them. They kind of. Oh, nice. I don't know if you know that, but BDS and Fox are part of the same company. All right. So this is where all the best parts deals go down, just in the middle of a dirt lot like this, you know? Yep. These are the coilovers. Dang. Got. It. It's like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. That's quite the upgrade. Those things are pretty burly. <laughs> and they got the black reservoirs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Check out 
check that out. That's pretty slick. Fucking jealous, dude. I need to take off the reservoirs off my truck and have them done in black. Mm -hmm. Oh, factory race series? No, what color is that? Gold. <laughs> yup. Hey, hold on. So we got we got our aftermarket parts accessory expert over here, Nick. Do you think he should run the uh, like the burnt bronze? You had him methods on his truck. What color is the truck? Black. Black. Yeah. Yeah. My opinion. I mean, that's the only way I would do it. I would do it on a black truck. There you go. Look at. He's got gold here. He looks sick. Like it's gonna match the fucking kit, dude. Yeah, it doesn't really go with any other truck other than a black truck. <laughs> yeah. Check these bad boys out. Ooh. There you go. Monsters. It's gonna look fucking sick. <sighs> no, that's heavy. <laughs> We're just maneuvering the trucks right now. We're gonna uh, get a couple more Instagram pictures. These trucks haven't been together in a long time and you know, for those of you guys wondering how to get companies to contact you offering parts and whatever, well, number one, it takes a nice truck prior to that. So once you get the nice truck, you really gotta be heavy on the Instagram, posting the pictures, um, keep coming out, meeting up with new people, get pictures with other people's vehicles. It's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. And like I said, it's a good way to connect with the truck community. guys ever watch videos of YouTubers when they're all hanging out together? Every single one of them's got a vlog camera in their hand. This is what it looks like for Instagrammers. Everybody pulls out their phone and starts snapping pictures because they don't want to post them on their page. Two different worlds, but we all do the same thing. So me and Nick were just listening to the beautiful sound of a Duramax, and then he drops this little bit of knowledge on me that apparently everybody knows and I didn't. Yeah. But I'm not a Ford guy, so I would never know. But go ahead, tell them what kind of cheating shit Ford has to do with their trucks, with the Raptors specifically. Yeah, well if you look it up, they added, you know, you're not just getting that true, like the 8 sound anymore. They went to a V6 twin turbo, but now they're adding uh, sound, like enhancing the exhaust sound and all that stuff from within the cab. And uh, I don't think anyone really, well, I think a lot of people knew that, but I guess you didn't. I had no fucking clue. You didn't know that either? I didn't know. Yeah, if you, if you looked it well, up. Well, now you guys know. Yeah, Ford's fucking cheating. They're putting their little fucking, I'm yeah, gonna say. I think it goes to the speaker system. But yeah, you can that, Google it. That's I pretty mean, sad. So, it's out there for sure. So for a lot of you followers, you might be too young to know what Pimp My Ride is. <laughs> but if you ever go back to one of the old episodes of Pimp My Ride, they put a fucking sound box in one of the cars that made like Ferrari sounds out of this piece of shit, like Civic or whatever the fuck it was. So uh, that's pretty sad that Ford has to stoop to that because their engine does not sound good. Yeah, I agree. Buy Duramax, you won't regret it. Straight pipe it. And straight pipe it. <laughs> Nick hasn't been down to any of our truck meets since the first one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He I says agree. he's coming down to every single one. He's fucking, he's lied to me a hundred times about coming down to our truck meets. But anyway, that being said, and being that his truck has been lifted five different times, I'm not so sure what the answer is going to be, but I think we need to ask him. And since he's not at the truck meets to where I get a chance to ask him, let's ask him, bro. What happens to your dick size when you lift your truck this many times? <laughs> when you lift and lower it, man, it just it, it gets it gets uh it gets bigger and gets smaller. I don't know how to explain it, but it really does. Now I've heard if it's smaller, you need an Asian or a midget girlfriend. Yes. If it's larger, I guess everything else works in that. Uh, everything works. Now, do you adjust the girl for the truck or what? <laughs> no. No, you don't. No. All right. So your girl just gets like a she gets like a grab bag of sizes. Exactly. Whatever you know, just whatever she's feeling. That works. Yeah. Cool. It's just like tell me what size you wanted. It's like Legos, dude. It just. I can respect that. Goodbye. Why'd you get my Why'd you get my microphone all sticky? Is that Luke? Chris walks away with the microphone for two seconds and it comes back all sticky. You gave That's it to really me weird. sticky. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. The time you hand it to him, he disappears. It's kind of right. Kind of weird. He's in that bush for a minute over there. 
Well, all right, guys, we're gonna jet out of here. I want to thank Nick once again, American Duramax on Instagram for hooking us up with Chris's lift kit. We got a uh, long drive home, but we saw a cool little country store stop thing on the way home. So I think we're gonna stop there and you know jet home for the rest of the day. And then Chris is gonna uh, hopefully at some point get that lift kit thrown on. I know it's gonna be bugging him like crazy now. And now that we got the race out of the way, he can actually throw it on. So for those of you that haven't seen the race between me and Chris. Check it out, I'll post a uh, link to it right here, as well as the uh, outro, I'll have the link in it. And yeah, we're gonna roll out here, brother. Appreciate right. it, no problem. Appreciate the hospitality showing us around. <laughs> shake, shake Chris's microphone. So we made it out here to Tom's Farms. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. This little city pops up and it's just this big craft fair, uh, market, I don't know, pony rides. Apparently they got a train that goes around this place. So we're gonna hang out here, check this place out for a little bit. What do we got here? Country furnishings. We saw that. So apparently this was more, what was this, a general store? You guys say? It's a general store. It had everything from keychains to king size beds to curtains to front end of a bus made into a bar. We got 10 acres of this place to explore, so we're gonna go creep around and see what else they got. That's one ugly statue right there. Hey man. Is it creepy that there's a big cock behind us? You guys want to see our cock? Why does it gotta be our cock? You could have just left it at isn't it creepy that there's a big cock behind us? Oh, yeah. What's your name? Tyler? Tyler? Tyler, you work at Tom's Farms. How long have you been uh, the caboose conductor? Uh, about six months now. Six months? How do you like it? I also drive the train, great race and stuff. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice. Alright, y'all, I want to thank all the old subscribers. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now. With that, um, just sitting on this old rusty John Deere. We're going to get out of here. It's about 100 and something degrees. I appreciate everybody watching this video. You're at the end of the train. Maybe you can say, roll the outro? Alright, roll the outro. Damn. Yeah.